This is Kelly Rudy, and on this edition of Paranet BizCast, we'll be talking to Bill Otto, President of Marcus Hotels and Resorts. Can you give me kind of a current snapshot of how the hospitality business, specifically related to business travel, is doing right now? Well, it's been an awfully interesting year. Uh, quite honestly, in the last almost 12 months has been the worst time we've had in modern time in the hospitality business, particularly hotel, which is uh, what I'm involved with. And business travel in particular is really where the fall off has been. Uh, it started to have the slide last September, then October got a little worse, and in November we kind of fell off of a cliff. So, uh, and what has happened since that time is that the uh, companies around the, the world, uh, but certainly here in the United States, have learned how to do business differently. So consequently, we're going to need to learn how to do business differently because business travel has changed. And companies that would send people to a convention and normally send five or six people today might only send two. So the convention is still being held, but you have many less travelers going than you used to. And that, of course, affects the hotel business, the airline business, rental car business, restaurants, all kinds of different industries. So in effect, the event is still occurring on the trade show and convention standpoint, but there's less travelers going to it. So that's had a big impact on us from that perspective. And then business travel all by itself. Me coming to see you if I was trying to sell you something. Uh, people are using the telephone much more often. The internet certainly has become a viable tool. To me, it never replaces face-to-face -face sales, but the fact is in the last year when things have been so tough, cutting travel has been a very easy thing for people to do as a first step. Now, were you expecting business travel to take such a dive? Were you kind of predicting it, or did it catch you guys by surprise? We started to see signs last fall. As I mm -hmm. said, we're almost to the one-year anniversary where things got rough. Uh, there were actually two dips. Uh, we went through a first dip in November and December and thought we had hit a trough. And then we were sitting at that trough for about 30, 45 days, and all of a sudden in February, we dropped again. And uh, that lasted about another couple of weeks where we dropped. And then we've hit a bottom, and we were through that bottom most of the summer, in fact, until right now we haven't dropped any further. The question becomes, when are we going to come out of that? So you said you're doing things differently in order to combat with this. What kinds of things are you doing specifically to business travel to cope with the issues that you've seen? Well, one of the, uh, the biggest changes that we've had, and, and it, it relates to business travel, but it also relates to individual travel. If you think about anything that you buy, and certainly travel would be one of those components, you're able now to do a tremendous amount of research on the internet. In fact, if I were to turn this around and be interviewing you and say, well, the last trip that you took, what were the first five things that you did? I would guess you went on the internet, went to Expedia.com mm -hmm. or Travelocity or whatever of those online travel agencies that you find to be most reliable and easy to navigate and started to do your research. Or you went to a destination. Well, business travel has done much the same thing. So for us, we need to make sure that our storefronts on the internet are fresh and dynamic and our content is interesting to people and relevant. So we constantly are doing that. And then we're making sure that we are in the right, line, or right online travel agencies for business travelers to find us. Uh, take this conversation back 10 years ago, online travel agencies really didn't exist. Traditional travel agencies like you might find in a mall and still find in a mall, but uh, would be the way people might do research and book their business travel. Today, we're much more self-sufficient as travelers and companies are much more self-sufficient. So we meet, need to make sure that we have that presence. As well, uh, there's a thing known as SEO, or search engine optimization. And we become real specialists at that as well. Take our hotel in downtown Chicago. If someone's looking for a hotel near the Shedd Aquarium, we wanna make sure that we have bought the right keywords in the search so that they look for hotels near the Shedd Aquarium and our hotel will pop up in that search. Five years ago, that was a concept that did not exist. So for our, our businesses and our hotels to put ourselves in the right light and be available for people to come try to find us and buy from us, we've had to reinvent the way we do business and, and make ourselves available. Doesn't mean the, the same delivery once you arrive and the same service that we've always done isn't critically important because it is, 
but it's just the way of acquiring customers and letting them know about us uh, has become more complicated and comes to us in many different lights than it used to. I'm still kind of an old-fashioned guy, and although we have to do all of those things, I still also believe that face-to-face -face sales uh, is the best, and that's why I have this hope that as the economy gets a little bit better and companies and individuals gain confidence that they'll start to travel again. Understanding that the internet is terrific, webcasts are terrific, if I can see you over the internet we can talk to one another, we can email, all good things. Nothing replaces you and I having a chance to look at each other, meet each other, and, and look in each other's eyes and understand is there a trust that if we're going to do business together I can trust you. Nothing replaces that. So I'm hopeful as people gain more confidence in their business that travel will come back.